All right, am I the a-hole? Got a couple questions here. I'm going to start with Morgan's because we had just talked about this in the office. I think uh, we never really kind of got to the bottom of it. I, I know what it's all about, but this is a, a neighbor thing. Hi, Morgan. Good morning. Hey, Morgan. How are y'all? All right, Good. so your neighbor died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just cut to the okay. chase. Okay. She let's, gone. Yeah, so, okay. No, but the whole thing started with her asking a favor? Yes. Did I get that right? Okay. Yes. All right. So this all actually started like a month ago. I get home one day, and there's this woman that I've never, and I've never, never met this neighbor until now. Okay. Is this in an apartment building? Or? It's like a duplex. Kind okay, of that was my, that was going to be my other question. So, like, you didn't have an established relationship with this person other than you just know they live right. Yeah, they're next door. Next never door. really talked to her. Yeah. You know, she's there. So I get home one day and there's this woman outside of my neighbor's house, like frantically trying to get in. Mm -hmm. And she like waves me down and she's like, "Help, help! My friend's in here. She's fallen. She can't get up. I need. I have her key. I just can't get mm -hmm. in her house." I'm like, "Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll help you. You know, rob this lady or break into her house." I help her get in the house. Long story short, ambulance come. They test her. She's fine, blah, blah, blah. But she's like, oh, you're my neighbor. Like, can we exchange <laughs> phone numbers so that if I ever need anything, you know, my friend that lives 10 minutes down the way doesn't have to come over. I can just call you and you can come right over. You're, you're my new. Is she <laughs> yeah. an she old lady? Yes, yeah, she's like in her 90s. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and I can get up. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly oh, what it sounded like her when we got in the house. Yeah. yeah, you're my new helper. Right. So she obviously doesn't know me very well. Um, so we exchanged information. It was very friendly. And then we go on our way. A couple weeks later, I'm taking a nap after the show one day and I wake up to a voicemail from this number because I didn't save her number. I listen to the voicemail and it's like, hey, I'm falling <laughs> and I can't get up. <laughs> get over like, here. How did right you get the over. voicemail? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's this voicemail and it's like the sweetest old lady and it's the typical like, hi, Morgan, I can't get my medication open. Can you come over and open up my bottle of medication for me? Yeah. Okay. okay. I was so asleep. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it's my neighbor okay. and she needed help. Um, I was asleep and I wake up to that voicemail. When I woke up, I chose not to call back and see if she had opened her medication. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Now, why? Yeah. For what reason? Because I don't, I'm a selfish person. I'm, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to leave the house. I don't know. It'd been a couple hours. But I you, you thought about it. It's like you forgot. Oh, no. I thought about you it. You made a I, conscious it, decision. I made not a not to contact her back. I made a conscious okay. decision. You're just not excited to call about her back. the prospect of going to hell or. <laughs> oh, I've, I've been there, Ravy. That's not a question at this point. Okay. Um. So, yeah, I made a conscious decision not to call back. I just, oh, she figured it out. It's been a couple hours. You know, she's fine. Um. Last week, I found out she died. <laughs> oh, no. There was like her whole you. family was in town, moving her stuff in and out. I'm like, what are all these people doing in and out of this woman's house? There was a priest because she was super religious. So they were doing that whole thing. And um, I talked to her son, and he's like, yeah, she uh, passed away. He, she had whatever um, Jerry Springer just died of. Pancreatic, uh, cancer? pancreatic cancer. Yes, cancer. that oh. one, the P one. Mm -hmm. uh, so am I the a-hole? Is she dead because I didn't open no. her medication? I don't think she's dead well, because no, of that. No, she's 90 and has pancreatic cancer. Well, yeah. But now, the son did still, say yeah. I mean, you, But I'm still an yeah. a-hole. You and Mr. Pryor should be alive. You sped up the process. <laughs> no. I don't, she, you can't, <laughs> You're you right. Can't, she could have lived longer. You can't blame yourself for the death. Is it a dick move to not follow consciously up? ignore a uh, woman, ninety-year-old yeah. in need that needs yeah. when you had open nothing medication? else to do? Yeah, when you were what just were you lying doing? there, I was just sleeping. didn't feel like leaving the house. I get that. Yeah, I've that been part in, I get, but... I've been in a funk lately. Um, so but no excuse. So yeah, and this is like a few weeks after I'm you know in her house being like, yes, call me when you ever you need anything. I'm your go-to girl. I'm right next door. <laughs> like, I got you. Unless you actually need something. Unless, you Unless you're need calling help. when I'm or busy. Or you catch me at the wrong moment. I'm yeah. falling. Yeah. And I can't get up. Yeah, I don't right. think yeah. you're responsible for her death, but you definitely made it worse. Like her last few days and hours were more suffering because mm. you didn't yeah, give her definitely. her medication. Okay. So. That's fair. That's fair. She's now, probably in pain because of you. Right. Well, we know oh, how definitely. Ravy feels. She's in yeah. a better place now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is she the a-hole? Yes, Greg Gorey? Overall, I'm saying no because you literally had just met her. You were asleep when she called. And don't know what go-to girl means. <laughs> <Yeah>. or, um, <laughs> the, I say things. I don't know what they mean. The, yeah. And you- You're not responsible for her death. Right. I do think, on a, a side note, that you could have- She's literally next door in a duplex. Yeah. It's not like you had to walk a block or- Knock on the wall. Down yeah. a steep hill. 
literally it would have taken well you found the energy seconds. to pound that final mm -hmm. nail nail in her coffin <laughs> yeah. yeah that's true Real. so but Good no point. you're not not uh, greg don't be don't be a wishy-washy I, I know you mm -hmm. said no you stick no, with that? Uh, well, he, you know he what? says no with a lot of caveats. Yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> so kind of. Okay. So maybe. <laughs> so no, you're not responsible for her death no. by any yeah. means. Nobody's but saying that. by not calling her back or even simply walking over the 10 feet to, yeah. to check on her. To unscrew yeah. a cap. Right. I'm saying yes, you are That's the a right. yeah. Menace. Yeah, definitely for, you know, getting the message and not responding to it at all. <laughs> Yeah. When yeah. she's asking for help with her medication, absolutely. Now, I will say this though. Uh you know me. I don't like talking to any of my neighbors. So I would be I would hate to be put in Morgan's position. Yeah. Where I knew that they it, could like... they could hit me up for yeah, well, anything. Yeah, you made her think that you were yeah, going to be that, there for her. That would yeah. suck. No one yeah. forced you to give her your, your number. Yeah. Well, you could yeah. you could lean into it too, like uh, really try to get really close to her in those final days to put it in the will. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. No. Maybe you she messed had up money. on that one. Yeah. Yeah. And then really purposely up. not open Opportunity the Opportunity lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're definitely an a hole for not responding. Uh, Seabass, yes. Yeah, but and also I just thought another thought by not even responding, not only did you make her suffering worse, <laughs> you made her feel worse. Like, oh, I don't oh, have no any one friend. loves me. No one loves me. I don't have any friends. Probably her last. My neighbor hates me, who I just met. She won't even return my call. Might as well just end it. Yeah. Bye. Uh, Sammy. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not your <laughs> fault, but yes, you are the a -hole. I have a family member who's older who really does rely on her neighbors for things when it comes to medication or because we don't we're not close to her and we're thankful for the neighbors who can right. help her. And so to me, yes. Uh, her Morgan. family just hit me up and uh, <laughs> sent me this. This is audio oh. of, of oh, her okay. final words. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, they okay. were like, well, wow. what happened? I had a medication. Oh uh, Morgan. God. Dead bitch. Oh, oh wow. And then that was it. Wow. And then she died. Oh, my wow. Yes. My yes. thing is, that's that is what it is. That's, yep. Sammy, that's not fair to uh, your na your uh, family members' neighbors, though, that they have to help them out. You know, like, I think. It doesn't sound like a have to situation. They're doing it because they want yeah, to. Yeah, they want to. Just, they could ignore the calls. Right. Here's a text. Yeah. Uh, Morgan, you're not the a hole, and I'm glad I'm not the only one who, who would have, who would not have helped. Aw, that the, makes me feel better, I that, guess. No, that, oh, that, that oh, no reason wow, why. there's another no, terrible no, person out there. No, nice people <laughs> exist, so selfish people like us can live our best lives. Oh, get it. Yeah. Yeah, no. no. Greg, you know what this You're is? You're not wrong. This is how you get ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> You're so ghosts. gonna be haunted. <laughs> I love <True>. ghosts. <laughs> yeah. I think she's in a better place, so yeah. maybe I helped. All right, so Seabass, uh, uh -oh. are you the a-hole? What happened? So we have a really nice community gym in my complex, and for the second time I walked in, and there's two dudes with a dog. Just oh, not uh, a service dog. This is a go. pet yep. tied up to a weight bench. Which number one is unsafe for the pet because it, 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 it wants to like greet you. I saw people walking up to it. It wants to talk. Yeah. But if someone drops a weight, the pet doesn't know what's going on. It's and like we all know social. that you don't care about that. But go yeah. ahead. Right. So and, yeah, and, and on the front of the gym it says uh, only assistive animals allowed. No pets, please. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. They're super clear. So I call down to security. Yeah, hey, you uh, do. And I was very polite. I said, hey, I think I think someone didn't read the sign of the gym. They've got their pet tied up to a weight bench. It's unsafe for the pet and for other people. Blah 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 blah. Before the the chick even comes up, she goes, well, if it's a service animal, I can't ask it to leave. I was like, no, no, no. It is not a service animal. This thing, again, it's sniffing people's hands. Real service animals right. stay mm -hmm. there. Still acknowledge mm -hmm. They're yeah. working. Mm -hmm. So on and so forth. So, but I'll come up anyway. So she comes up, and I decided this, because it's the second time I've seen these dorks, these douchebags mm -hmm. here. Right. So I stay in to watch the confrontation. Yeah, you do. Yeah. She walks up, and she goes up to these two dork douchebags again. Sorry. And goes, oh, you know, I'm sorry to even have to ask you guys, but uh, we got a call about your dog. And the guy goes, oh, it's a, I've got a card. It's a service animal. Okay. Uh, and I'm standing right there. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, wow. Anyone could get a card. I could order a card right now. I got five of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, again, Menace can get it. It takes 15 minutes on the internet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And in fact, it's a crime to claim a, a your animal is an actual service animal when it's not in many states, including in this state. Yeah. And uh, she goes, well, he has a card. I said, no, no. That's not what the card. Anybody could get the card. It's not. That doesn't mean it's a service dog. You know, I know people who actually do this. This is bad for the dogs. Bad for other people. Blah, blah, blah. She's like, and she turns to the other guy. Doesn't even talk to me. She says, uh, if he continues to bother me or bother you, please let us know. Oh. To you? <laughs> no, to, to, to them. Like, if, if this yeah. if this man continues to bother yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh me, talking to about them. you. So yeah. She already talking made the decision. You. And the guy's she like, decided that you want you. You're the a hole. Yeah. And yeah. the guy goes, bro, it's like, no, it's not. You're, you, you're, uh, I said, what's your disability? 
And he's like, well, well uh, I'm I, anxious. Uh, 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 right. uh, mm-hmm. Like, no, you're, you're cataracts. No, it's like, it's like, uh, what you're doing is a disservice to people with real service animals. You're, you know, and I did. That's kind of the end of it right there. Right. Uh, so that's where it's ended right now. I'm, <laughs> I've, I've emailed at that point. I emailed about four attorneys. <laughs> oh. Oh wow. Because attorneys for be, what? Because yeah. because number one. <laughs> Aiding in service dog fraud is also a crime. You have too oh, much okay. time, dude. I have plenty. Aiding. I have projects. Is what I have. Just doing a project. So I, I looked up. Uh, I looked up dog bite attorneys because I figured they would uh, help. Be me. all over it. Yeah. Uh, okay. over, over four on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got one email back saying, "Yeah, if, if we have a case, because I, I said, hey, 'Hey, I'll pay you to write a letter to the complex to the security company saying you're aiding and abetting crime. If this dog, this was a nice dog, you know, which mm-hmm. is fine." But if that dog gets hurt or hurts someone else, you're responsible, complex. I figured, oh, uh, that'll kind of trigger yeah, them sure, sure, to sure. actually enforce the proper rules. Just punch it in the chat GPT. It'll draft something up really quick yeah. for That's you. my next move because I said, I'll pay you. But no no attorney wanted it unless it was like a big, expensive dog bite uh, case. Just uh-huh. Yeah, just so, put in chat GPT. Am I the a-hole for, number one, trying to protect this dog? Let's not reframe it. I think in the circumstance <laughs> that you described, I don't think you're the a-hole because no dogs should be in the to, gym. Y- right. Yeah. Dogs are not for everywhere. And you don't have the right to just bring your dog, who's not a service dog. Tie it to a weight bench. Yeah. Not I, only that, but you know, he's like, oh, I, brought, I bring this dog on planes. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Still okay. not a service dog. Yeah. You're so, lying and you're committing actually a crime. I think the person that you called in to deal with the situation, I think they're the a-hole. Right. Well, yeah. Because she pre, she was pre-excusing yeah. this like, guy. It's, right. Look, it's not my rule. You're the ones who had the rule. I'm just sitting here calling to the question, this person... Who has their dog here violating that rule? Yeah, well, I think the problem is it's been so blurred by people like Menace that people don't, <laughs> that you don't. Understand. I never used it, by the way, Sammy. You never used and it, Sammy. You people don't understand what an it's actual emotional support. Dog. That's, no. a, that's not. It's not. It's not, not a legal a category. Not a that's thing. not yeah. a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, applies to nothing whatsoever. I've exactly. never used my dog as a support dog. And and, and I got it. I posted this on Twitter, and I had a person who actually has a real service animal. He says, mm-hmm. "Oh, I hate these people because they're pets." will come up to my dog who's actually working and want to play with and do dog stuff. Right. But then that, that puts your dog in a bad situation, puts your baby in a bad situation. So these people, <laughs> selfish, loser jackasses yeah. all around. I think they're the a-hole. I think I decided yeah. it for I, everybody. I say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be very clear. In this particular situation, Seabass is not an a-hole. Could be in other nah. situations. Yeah. Other projects he's involved sure, in. Sure, many other situations. Uh, Ravy. No, not this one. Greg Gorey. No, with the caveat, this is the guy that poops in the shower. Even though it's, there's no signs that say "don't poop in the shower," I'm sure mm. the building doesn't appreciate it. All right. So um, it's ironic that menace. he's so pure. <sighs> I'm slightly torn else. because I think that Seabass went above and beyond. He is absolutely right in every now, way. Me, this yes. happened a few weeks ago, and I have not seen these jackasses with their dogs since. I think I gave him at least a little bit of public shaming. Uh, yeah. well, everybody yeah, goes to the gym for back. like two days. And, and then I quit. think <laughs> that's the thing too is that these people get no pushback at all in their life, and they're just like, do whatever, yeah, uh-huh. whatever they yeah. want. Yes or no? Oh, man, I I guess I'll say no. Yeah. On the facts. Sammy. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, he 100% yeah. is. Yeah. 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 Know that. Mm-hmm. And I wish that all of this energy that he's so angry about breaking the law, he was doing it towards something that was like a real problem in law breaking, not like a dog is in a gym. He's calling Bandit. up all these lawyers and all these people. Oh. I mean, why don't you take <laughs> okay, this is a class. No, no, no. Well, see, that's where I, that's, that's where that's that's fallacy. That's see, the that's where the issue I have. I was like, I feel that he just went above and beyond. It. I don't feel like it's up to him yeah. to police it. Like I, it is up to? to the building. Yes, and he went and did the right thing and told the people, and they did not police it. So yeah. again, I would I would take care of it on the back end. I wouldn't like stand there and keep on arguing okay. with people about it. Uh, Morgan. No, Seabass, you're not the a hole. Yeah. I just think, like, God, your must, be, your life must be so exhausting worrying about all these problems. This is what they say to Gandhi and MLK. They're like, <laughs> all right. oh, how, all right. oh, how, why oh, do you care dude. so much? You hear that, guy's so He's exhausted. Gandhi. He's yeah. MLK. Yeah. Yeah. Only better. Yeah, only better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> only better. Why do you care? Uh,